Liberty Pearl. She's been living with me now for 12 years and two months. She was rescued from Saddam Hussein's presidential palace in Baghdad. Our Marines found her in the rubble after it was bombed in March of 2003. She stayed in the Iraqi zoo for about, gosh, seven months before she could be um, snuck over the border to Armand, Jordan where she was flown out to LAX, where a dear friend of mine, Marcy Christmas, who was responsible for her rescue, along with Colonel Susan and um, Margaret Ledger. Marcy took her into her home for the first six or seven months being in LA, and she was just so shell-shocked and suffering from PTS. She could hardly get her under a bougainvillea bush. She kept hiding under her bougainvillea bush. But then I met her in June of 2004, and along with my beautiful Gordon Setter, Savannah, um, we helped this little baby become a dog. It was really Savannah that did all the work. She just took her under her tutelage and, and helped Liberty become a dog. She uh, would shake uncontrollably, hide under Savannah, but with, it took about three or four years before she really, she got her own voice. And we are now, celebrating her, well, I, hate to, I don't want to even say how old she is. Let's just keep it at 13. <laughs> right, honey? We're not getting any older than that, but she's in perfect health. Um, she only suffered a mild concussion from the bombs that day in the palace. That's why her one eye is a little AWOL. But other than that, she's, she's wonderful. And we've written her story. Her book is going to be coming out in a couple months. So I hope you tune in and check out her new um, Facebook page. It'll be Liberty Pearl. And we'll see you there. We'll keep in touch. How's that? How's that, Deb? Say hi. Say bye. Say bye, bye.